Alright, let's keep going. See if we can break these other locks. Isn't this why the ringmaster called you into his hotel room that night? Why would the ringmaster have called him into the hotel room? Not money. A person? Maybe he called him into the hotel room because it was he's, he's in love with his daughter and he was proposing or something. Let's try this. Don't look at me like that. This isn't easy for me, you know. How about it, Max? How about what? What do you expect me to do with this? Let me guess. You're showing me that so I can make it disappear for you. Uh, I guess that wasn't right. Fuck. Please don't make it disappear. I'm going to try again. Ringmaster called him. I wonder if there was some sort of problem. Uh, Max, perhaps you could share with me what you spoke about. So there was some sort of problem. What about the bottle? Maybe he found out that he had hit Ben with a bottle. Oh, that sounds like it's it. Isn't this what you were called to the ringmaster's room that night? Well, where'd you get that? The cafeteria, but you already knew that, didn't you? Oh, of course. Aha. It fell and broke on the floor. He's still hiding something else. Max, what is it, my sweetie? It didn't fall and break on the floor. You used this bottle, too, to hit Ben. So I guess I should show Ben. Aha. Well, ben? You nailed him over the head with this bottle, didn't you? <laughs> and that's why you got called to the ringmaster's room that night. F -f -f fabulous you might as well be a magician. Ha, huh, got the answers. Nice. Nice. All right, meeting with Russell. <clears throat> the truth is, yesterday morning during breakfast, we had a run-in. You mean you had a fight with Ben the Ventriloquist? You could put it that way. Why'd you fight with him? Ben seems like such a quiet man. We fought about my sweetie pie. You mean Regina? That ill-bred creep told my sweetie pie princess that he was in love with her. Would you put up with that? Ill-bred? Are you talking about the name, the same Ben? Told her he was in love with her? Are you sure this is the Ben we're talking about? Yeah, Ben wasn't to talk at all. All I could say is that he made me mad and I had to tap him hard on his head. That's when the ringmaster called me and I realized that it was my chance. Your chance? That's when I went to his room and I laid it all out on the table. I asked him to let me marry my sweetie pie. What? The ringmaster told me that it sounds good to me. That's why my sweetie pie is my sweetie pie. And no one else's. Huh, I see. Since Ben was causing me so much trouble, I realized I had to shut him up. Shut him up? Oh, wow. Uh, what do you mean by shut him up? You don't know, do you, my sweeties? Unless Ben and Trilo are together, Trilo can't say a word. Trilo? The puppet, the ventriloquist puppet. His real name is Triloquist. Oh, Triloquist, get it? So also, I'll say Trillo. His name's Trillo. Triloquist. <laughs> but a puppet doesn't talk. I know, that's why I hit it. Before the police came and took me away, of course. If that puppet started flipping off at the balsa, I'd be screwed. Yeah, because the puppet can talk. <laughs> you hit him? You mean the ventriloquist puppet? You are so smart, sweetie. Uh, where'd you hide him? What, sweetie? You aren't thinking of trying to add him to my defense, are you? Well, Ben does seem awfully lonely without his puppet. Fabulous! This should have taught him a le that should have taught him a lesson. Okay, I hid Tr Trillo in the ringmaster's room. You don't mind going there and getting Trillo for me, do you, my sweets? No problem, not at all. Thank you, Max. You know I can't stand to see my sweeties in a jam. <laughs> then don't go hiding puppets. All right, I guess we gotta go find this puppet in the ringmaster's room. I don't want to go there, son of a bitch. Uh oh. Well, looks like there's something here. Alright, we've got lots of things we have to look into. No time for slacking. Let's get going.
Okay, what's the matter? You seem down. I should in Galactica. Who would have guessed he he was a country bumpkin? Huh. Alright. Back to the circus. Huh? Ben's not here anymore. Yeah, I wanted to ask him something. It's cold out. He's probably in the tent. Alright. I need to go to the ringmaster's room. You can get there from the lodging house, right? No, you get there from the big top. <clears throat> what do you think, Nick? I wonder if we've been making any progress. Don't be so negative. Of course we're making progress. Well, everyone loved the ringmaster. And there's no sign of footprints on the scene. There's still a lot of mysteries left to be solved. Of course. And now Regina isn't here. I'm not seeing how that's related. Alright, ringmaster's room. Where the hell could he have hid this doll? Looks the same as always. A great big mess. Considering how messy it is, I bet they wouldn't notice if another poster went missing. Oh no. Will you just stop it, you poster pilferer? I'm just kidding. You know I already got one of these posters. You mean stole one of these posters? Yeah, uh, let's focus on what Max told us. He said he would hide Trillo somewhere in this room. Trillo. Oh, the ventriloquist puppet. Where do you hide him? Do you hide him in the soup? No, it's the same shit. Kill coat. Scrap of white paper that I can't take. Yep. Alright, what about the desk? No, same thing. Same thing from before. What about the trophy case? Shit, it's the same. God damn it. Oh, wait a minute. There's something shoved under the bookshelf. This is... Aha! That's Trillo. That's Ben's puppet. I think you're right. We'll give it back to him later. Huh. Why do I have to carry this thing? <laughs> Alright, we have to find Ben and give him his puppet back. Check the cafeteria. Oh, hey, Ben. Oh, there he is. Uh, um, uh, ho, ho, hello. Hello to you, too. It's awfully cold today, don't you agree? Yeah, 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 uh, I, 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 d do, indeed. Don't you think it's cold, Nick? I don't see how talking about the weather is helping our case. Let's give him his, uh, his doll back. Ah, Ben, this is yours, isn't it? Y y yes th that's mine. Here you go. Trulaquist returned to Ben. Alrighty, Maya, let's get going. It's that time, isn't it? See you around, Ben. Oh, 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 okay. So, Nick, where are we going next? Let's see. Maybe we should go talk to the clown again. Hey, wait! Who said that? What are you looking at? I'm right here, you blind wench! What's your problem anyways? Don't you know how to properly treat someone? <laughs> ben, is that you, Ben? No, 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 I would never. It was me, yeah, me, down here. You, you're... Trillo? That's Mr. Quist to you, sir. Learn some manners before you just blurt out my name. I'll try speaking to me again, but this time with some proper respect. Not again, sigh. Mr. Quist, is that better? No, look at me when I'm talking to you, you ape and excuse for an attorney! Trillo, we talked about insulting people. You promised. Oh, he punched him in the face! But he was mocking me, being mean the police was not included in the deal! I'm sorry, Trillo. Hey, what just happened? Trillo is still a puppet, right? A Trillo's puppet? Hey, who do you think you are calling me a puppet? <laughs> Holy crap, let's talk to Trillo. 